Hi Ori, it's Travis and here, and welcome back to our Adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we got our first aid up by a little bit. Went out, we slayed some ogres, we got our first aid up to 148, and we found out that we need 150 to get a silk bandage. So that is what we are going to do today. We are going to go back again, slay some ogres, hope we get some more wool cloth. Get ourselves up to 150 and then learn silk cloth and then after that we'll make a bunch of bandages and we'll see how high we can get we'll also uh fill our bags today our gold's been going up by quite a bit we're at 337 which is not too bad but yeah a lot of updates today for uh classic wow classic uh, wow wrath of lich king beta is out I did not get a beta key, which is too bad, but it is what it is. And seems like they're going to have some changes for it. Looks like they are going to be adding a, a little bit of uh, buffs to Naxxramas. Seems like they will be increasing the damage of mobs and also their health as well. So we'll see how that goes. Need help? I think it's a good thing. For the Alliance. I think uh, it would have been too damn easy. I think it'll still be pretty easy. But at least this time it'll be a little bit more of a challenge. Players will have to prepare a little bit more. And it won't be... Potentially won't be a one week. I think people still do it in one week, but we'll see. But potentially, who knows, maybe it'll be challenging enough for people to have to you know wait an extra week to get it down i think my guild will want to try to clear the whole thing in one week it's in a, a 10 man group we'll see how that goes that's something i'm looking forward to as well as the 10 man rating i kind of like the the cozy, tight-knit community feel of a 10-man raiding group. It's pretty fun. That's how I started raiding, actually. was in 10 mans. But yeah, hopefully we get some wool cloth today. We've been struggling to get some. It's been our... Uh, it's going to be our third time, actually, going down to this ogre pit. So it has been a grind to get it up. But once we're done with that, we will be on our way to getting our first aid up to 200. And we have some books that we are not able to learn yet because we were not able to get our first aid up. And that is, I believe, heavy silk bandages. And then I believe mage weave bandages. So we'll have to get those up soon. Look at that. I got a mount. What a lucky guy. What his level is he? 43. Wow, slash clap. Oh, look at that. We got a little, uh, a little buff from him. What a nice guy. Yeah, congratulations to Crikey. Level 43, got his mount. Hardcore player. Has never known defeat. I will not have my mount in level 43. We maybe we can do it, but it's gonna be tough. <laughs> Show it off there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pop sprint. Look at this. Let's see how sprint does against a mount. That's okay. This guy's showing off, man. Must be nice having a mount, dude. Also, they were uh, talking about how Dragonflight, the retail expansion for WoW, is going to be uh, released this year, which is pretty fast. I thought it was going to be like 2023. So I was surprised about that. And they're already uh, giving out uh, pre-orders. So you can pre-order the game 
on the Blizzard app. I haven't done so yet. Probably wait. There's no rush. And I usually just get the base copy, but they got those, like, you know, the epic version where you get all these, like, toys and mounts and... Sometimes you get, like, stuff for, like, hearthstones. We got over here a briar tournament. Let's go pick that up. Why not? And a 50% uh, XP boost is coming to Wrath of Lich King Classic. See how that goes. I think that might bring a good amount of people back to the to the game to level, so I'm looking forward to that. On my TBC classic characters that I'm leveling right now, which is my paladin and my shaman. And they're both uh, in the 50s, so that XP boost should uh, shoot us up to 70, hopefully, before Wrath of Lich King comes out. But there won't be any uh, XP boost for this character. I don't really think you need one. We already have a, a boost here with the Adventure Awaits. Where we uh, are experiencing gold earned from quests is increased by 100%, so it's pretty good. Yeah, maybe we will get our mount. We just start doing more quests. We haven't done quests in a while, so. I think once we start doing quests again, that should be good to go. Mostly just been focusing on professions. But I am going to be targeting some quests to get us some better loot, because we do have some loot that's like level 10 and level 19. Pretty low level loot, so. We need to get that up to 30 at least. Especially before we hit 40. There we go. A Splinter Fist Ogre here. These are the guys that supposedly dropped the wool cloth. And they do. Look at that. This is our day, guys. We're going to get lucky. Let's see if we get 149 here. Nope. They're making us farm for it. I think with the next one we should get it. There we go. Look at this. What's going on today? It took me like 30 minutes to get four wool cloth last time we were here. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of a, a little farm sesh, even if I get to 150 pretty quick. We'll make sure we uh, hit up the chests here. So we can get a little bit of loot to sell when we go back to Stormwind. Yeah, we're 149. We only need one more level. That'll probably be like four to six more wool cloth. There's some silk cloth that we will most likely use when we learn silk bandages. I'm hoping we can get to heavy silk bandage. That would be nice. So right now we're using the heavy wools. We don't really get much health from it. Yeah, they're also uh, updating the, the looking for group. I wonder if they're going to bring that to to the classic era servers. So what they're doing is they're updating the looking for group to make it more like retail. They're going to do that in Path of Ledge King. It would be cool if they did that on these servers too, I think. Because really nobody uses this didn't do too well when they released it. I thought it was going to do a lot better than it did, but it doesn't seem to be too popular.
But yeah, it seems like WoW's in like a chill moment for a little bit. And then it's really gonna start ramping up. In the winter. Or fall and winters when WoW start ramping up again. The release of Wrath of Lich King and Dragonflight I think are gonna be pretty big. I just hope they didn't rush. Dragonflight, because I'm kind of hoping that it's a it's a good expansion. But I honestly think they can afford to have Dragonflight be like a mediocre or, or not that great of an expansion. Because Wrath of Lich King should last them a year and a half, and then Dragonflight's not that great. They probably got like one more chance with uh, with retail. And then hopefully they have an idea for for, the, for how they're going to, you know, keep the classic community together. I don't really think they'll do Classic Plus, even though that's kind of hoping they would. And I'm not too sure if they'll do Cataclysm. We all know, like, Cataclysm won't have the same hype that Wrath will have, so. Maybe they're kind of worried that, you know, some player, people might just not even play it. But I think people will want to continue their classic characters. Like, some people have some pretty epic stuff on their characters. Like, legendary weapons, pretty cool mounts. Especially after uh, Wrath, like say you got Invincible from doing 25 man ICC, you probably want to keep going on that character. It's all the cool stuff and titles that you got. But I, I just don't think they're going to just keep doing the, you know, okay, we're going to Cataclysm now. All right. Going to Mr. Pandaria. It'd be cool if they did that, though. I thought, I think it would be kind of fun. I think there would be a community that would continue to play. And then they try to keep the, the classic vibe going with it. Where it's more about, like, the world being the main character. People actually have to travel to dungeons. Instead of, uh... Or they have to, like, make groups via chat. I guess Dungeon Finder instead of, like, insta -Qs. Some people don't like that, though. Some people would rather prefer there to be, you know, the, the looking for group who will... where you just, like, queue up and then you get teleported to a dungeon. Like the Dungeon Finder tool. Kind of happy they're not adding that, to be honest. I don't really mind finding a group with uh, just with the dungeon finder, or just using the looking for group bulletin board add-on. I don't really think it's that bad at all. Alright, so there's a chest up here. Hopefully we get some more cloth out of it. Oh, it's gone. It's not here. Interesting. Oh, it's where there's one right there. So I guess it may, it's, sometimes it spawns over here, and then sometimes it spawns over there. Maybe we'll fight both these guys. Let's pop a little bit of Lake for here. Oh, Blade Flurry is pretty damn good damage. Not, good damage. Not, not even using any, like, potions today. I guess I'll take a risk and kind of lay off using bots. We are fighting stuff that's you know, a little bit lower than us. Kind of crappy if I died, though. 
I don't think I will, though. We got Banish. We got our... Got our health pots. Some of these guys really put dots on me, so... Getting pretty low here, though. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to have some food here. Oh my gosh, we just got four. Nice, we got four heavy bull bandages. And this should get us up to 150, I think. There we go, guys, 150. 150 on the heavy wool bandages. So I guess, uh, I wonder if we have any food. Yeah, we'll have some of this cornbread. And then, I guess we'll clear out this dungeon. Or this little cave. And then after that, we will uh, make our way out of here. Might as well get a little bit of XP. And then we'll make our way over to... The first aid trainer. And we'll level up our first aid. There are our bags are doing. Seem to look alright. Got pretty lucky today with the wool cloth. I guess we were just getting unlucky before. Third time's a charm, I guess. There we go, get some more cell claw, that's good. One thing I noticed though that, that really sucks is if I don't use this potion. That my health regen is brutal. Now, the strong troll's blood potion is like it's pretty underrated. Not enough energy. Like having that health regen helps a lot. This guy will give me anything good this time. He just gives me nothing. I got one silver. So we'll use these uh, wool bandages to heal up. But yeah, we're done with the ogres, guys. Kind of happy about that. Got sick of these. <laughs> guys not dropping wool cloth. This is level 31. The slaver guys are kind of lame. Good thing is he didn't run away from me this time. Alright, so there we go. I think that's enough ogre slain for now. Well, let's head back and uh, get Silk Bandage. Alright, so here we are. We'll, we'll sell met. some junk here. Get rid of this gold ore. Don't need these healing pots. Got some leather wrists that aren't bad. Level 23 leather wrists. Five stamina. Oh, we actually got an upgrade today from one of those chests. Pretty good day so far. Some more armor, more stamina, and then we get two intellect. Two intellect will at least help us get our weapon skill up. Get rid of this maze, get rid of this chest. This mud chops we don't really need. I think this wool cloth Be careful. we won't need anymore, so we'll turn that into a wool bandage and sell it. And we're also going to sell all of our heavy wool bandages. Looking for something so we won't specific. be using those as, as well. So let's get rid of this bandage. What else we got here? Where's the other ones? There they are. There we go. We're making some coin, guys. We're already at four gold. Maybe we'll we'll actually be be able to get a mount pretty quick. Just gotta farm a little bit. All right, so I'm probably gonna keep everything else, and we'll head over to the bank. We'll make sure we get uh, the silk cloth and the books that we need. 
to level up our first aid. You need something? One, two, three. And then we have the healthy silk bandage at 180. I hope we can get that up. I don't think we're going to be able to get to 210, so. Have a good one. I'll just leave that in the bank. I wonder if there's any herbs that I should have left. Hello. Just to keep the... Yeah, we don't... Probably don't want to hold on to this with this hole. And I think we got some extra bruise weed we can throw away and then... There we go. The Mage Royale, I think I just sell, right? Just vendor that junk. Safe travels. Alright, so off to the cathedral. Kind of happy we're done with the profession grinding. We're not really done, but we got our food up. Cooking is at a good spot. And our first aid will be pretty damn good pretty soon, I think. And I think we'll be at heavy silk bandage by the end of this. Got a lot of silk cloth. Got around 75, which is not too bad. Should get us over 180, I think. I don't think we'll get to 210, though. All right, so here we go. The moment of truth, guys. Let's learn it. Well met. 45 silver. Safe travels. All right, let's do this. Time to make some silk cloth. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's about damn time. We got that book on us, which is good. And we should probably put silk cloth as our... Uh, as the bandage we'll be using. But if we do get to 180, we will, we'll most likely use the new one. But I don't think I'll sell the silk bandages until... We have like a... We have like over 10 heavy silks. This is going up pretty quick. Should get 180. Now, I gotta figure out where will we be going to next. I think we're gonna be making our way over to... Hmm, let's see. We'll just keep going while I'm good at the map here. Then we're going to make our way over to Theramore Isle. And there's a quest here for some items that I want to do. And then also in Desolus, there's some items that I want to get. So I think those are, we're going to be making our way over to Kalimdor for a bit. We're going to try to get as many items as we can. We really need a belt upgrade. It'd be also nice to get a weapon upgrade. We have a level 11 sword. It's just... It just doesn't cut it right now. Could really use, like, upgrades across the board. All of our items are pretty low. These bracers that we just got are kind of low, too. Level 23, but they're better than the ones we currently had. Some new shoulders would be nice. A helmet would be good. A neck. If we can get one of those. Yeah, we got some extra briar thorn here. We're looking all right on the potions. Clearly need more vials. Should probably get those before we leave. I think we have enough coin to get some. Wait, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, we'll get 180. And then for our upgrades after uh, we learn Mage Weed Bandage, we're going to have to go over to Theramore Isle and uh, speak with a doctor. And then we're going to be doing a quest called Triage. And that will allow us to get heavy Mage Weed Bandage 
and then eventually rune cloth bandage. So we've got a lot of these uh, silk bandages. We could sell these. All right, so let's make a heavy silk bandage now. We'll make nine of these. I think we'll most likely just use these now. I'm going to sell a couple of stacks. Yeah, it's good that we got all that silk cloth. We still need a lot more. So hopefully in the new zones we're in, we can actually keep picking that stuff up. All right, so there we go. We're done with that. Well met. Reagent vendor. I wonder if this guy has any vials. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's sell these silk bandages. 40 silver each. That's pretty good. And I guess we'll keep these. I'm going to get rid of the Mage Royale because we won't be using it. Light bless you. And we need more vials. We'll be using empty vials. Seems like everything we want to use now is just leaded. So I'm going to get rid of these empty vials. We'll try to get like 220 stacks of uh, leaded vials. Also, I need to keep an eye out for uh, some better recipes. Supposedly some recipes out there where we can get 10 stamina, 10 spirit. So I'll be on the lookout for those. I'm also interested to see how we can get our cooking to 300. And I wonder if it's worth it. There might be some good recipes up there. Okay, so we're going to head over to the Mage Quarter, over where the Herbalist is. And pick up some leaded vials. Sells the stuff. Find something? The only human in the shop. Alright, so let's get some leaded vials. We got like 220 stacks. I guess we'll make a We'll make a potion just to even this up. Let's make a strong troll's blood potion. I really like these ones. There we go. And we can get there we go. So that's a lot of a lot of vials there. Seems like we're good to go on vials. Like we need gold thorn. Should probably look out for that. But yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. Next episode, we will be making our way over to Kalimdor. And we are going to finally be back to questing again. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.